Hey guys, Moshe the Electric Israeli is here. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Please support me on Patreon. And if you're in the market to buy a Tesla car, please use my referral code. You get a thousand dollars off. And one of the things that I am personally anticipating and hoping for and was disappointed to in the upgrade of the Tesla Model 3 is the battery. Now, Tesla Model 3 drives a lot f farther on the same battery like last time, but uh, I was hoping for better range. Now, we're all expecting the new Model Y next year, the Juniper, to have all the features and then some of the current Model 3 uh, Highland. However, there are some reports from China about a new battery that will give much more range. And I'm going to give you the anticipation, much more range uh, to the upcoming Tesla Model Y. For example, right now, and I didn't know that, 70% of the Tesla Model Ys are standard range, which means an LFB, LFP battery. Uh, that you can uh, charge to 100%. So what we expect in the future one. So it's going to be an upgraded battery from CATL, which will give probably 20 or even 24% more range. Non not only that, this is even bigger news that the CATL newest battery coming up is going to give you, the, cost the consumer, uh, 1.5 million kilometers. That's a million, almost a million miles. Okay, of life, life of the batteries, which is much more than anybody can drive on one single car. Also, the uh, the warranty uh, will be for a million kilometers, or or maybe eight hundred or nine hundred kilometers. Uh, and if the battery at any time goes below eighty percent, now it's seventy percent, it will be replaced. And one more thing, if you didn't have enough that they are guaranteeing that there will be no battery degradation in the first two years. I own, I already own my fifth Tesla, and there's at least 5% degradation in the first year or two, okay? So, having all of this, a million and a half a mile life of the battery, and a million, a, 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 million, a million and a half kilometers, and a million a kilometers warranty, up, up to 80%, that's incredible. Now, as you know, CATL is the biggest uh, battery manufacturer in the world, probably. 50% of the Chinese market is CATL. Now, there's CATL and there's BYD. And if we measure the size of the battery by kilowatt hour, we, we measure the uh, battery density in watt hour per kilogram. And, you know, the, the first round was 165 watt hour per kilogram for BYDs and CATLs. Now it's getting up to 175 watt hour, watt hour per, per, kilogram, per kilogram. So the newest battery, the uh, Tianqing, Tianqing L, looking for 200 watt hours per kilowatt and 200 kilowatt hour per battery, depending uh, depending uh, what's the size going to be. So there are three LFP batteries. That these are LFP batteries, meaning you can charge them to 100%, and they have much longer life of the battery. So LFP. So they have the the first one is called the Ch uh, the Chillin 2.0. They have the Shin Sin, which people say 205 watt hour per kilogram. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. And the tens and the Tenshin L. So also 200 watt hour per, ki per, uh, per kilowatt. Now they also, they, meaning CATL and BYD, uh, have a uh, battery of 175 watt hour per kilogram, but that's only, only for heavy, heavy duty and large uh, cars, like let's say buses or trucks or things like that. Or, or pickup trucks so the byd blade battery as you know it's a long long uh, form battery not the short one like the Gili. it's talking about an upgrade to 190 watt hour per kilogram basically i'm giving you all these numbers to show you the absolute bloodbath not uh, figuratively not really of the competition between byd a uh, uh, Gili, and also of course catl of getting lfp batteries that are very dense like i said 200 or 205 watt hour per kilogram so they can uh, provide you with longer range and with longer much longer warranty lifetime and then some but also fast charging now fast charging is really the next the next level but that has a big asterisk in it so they're talking about a fast charging of 560 kilowatt which is great for example the fastest uh a tesla supercharger in kilowatts a day is 350 and there's some of them in europe some in the united states but most of the fast charges are in china 
and you if you want to charge your car to 500 to 500 kilowatt that's nice but for that you have to have cars with 800 volt of architecture like this Cybertruck, which were reported to charge to 100 uh, i'm sorry to 400 kilowatt in europe uh, in a test so Cybertruck did did observe 400 kilowatt charging but you have to have the right charger the right supercharger for that okay now also they're talking about a 72 hour a uh, period that the car can be in a water in, in inside water like let's say if there's a flood or something now obviously we don't want to test test it so if the model y gets it what do we get for that like i said a, a, a very dense battery very dense really really dense battery and energy battery 20 to 24 percent more range uh, water resistant for 72 hours fast charging for 560 uh, kilowatt uh, of charging but that's irrelevant to the united states and europe only china the battery prices are went down by 50 percent in the last three years which means more electric cars becoming more affordable so the revolution continues to me one like i said at the beginning the biggest disappointment of tesla model 3 that didn't get the what, what do i call the golden battery the, the most upgraded one hopefully now maybe maybe that's why tesla is waiting who knows for this great lfp battery that will give a what that will bring tesla model y to let's say 450 or even 500 miles really and and you don't have to have like a 200 kilowatt hour battery maybe less than half of that maybe 80 okay and with the improvement in aerodynamics that could be a real real game changer for a the future tesla model y as you remember we, i made a video about it that tesla model 3 the one that we have now reached close to 400 miles in one highway test close very close so you in the same size battery like the previous generation imagine what can happen if they get this new battery so we're looking really forward to the new tesla model y and i think it would be a big huge amazing thing for tesla uh, to have this newest battery and to improve the range significantly and the charging speed significantly thank you guys for watching we'll continue to follow this story